I'm not day drinking, right? I promise you, I'm not intoxicated. AMC looks great. And again, I, I get the whole, you know, ape nation that tell me, well, where the hell have you been for the last four months? Hey, AMC has been going, not, yeah, not in my world, right? I don't watch AMC. But when you look at a channel like this and you look at a stock that hasn't gone down, say what you want about maybe the fundamentals of the company maybe not being, uh, you know, the next Microsoft. But boy, oh boy, look at this channel. Here. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to a uh, Tuesday edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com um, wrap up show. Hope everybody is doing well. People slowly starting to get back in from their uh, Labor Day uh, long holiday. Okay, uh, what you'll notice today was kind of a divergence of the markets. You have uh, the spies and the diamonds. Dow Jones down about 260 points. Again, not the big deal. Not a big deal at all. Again. Anybody who, who could actually argue with the performance of the Dow must be looking at different markets. Same, same thing as a SPY. So the idea that the Dow and the S&P kind of, you know, pull back a little bit, not a big deal. Uh, what was a big deal, and you can look at it from both sides of the ledger, was number one, how impressive the NASDAQ 100 continues to be and the Qs. Uh, and when you look at uh, the pull today and a lot of uh, S&P names, a lot of Dow names, you really see how good and how orchestrating the buying continues to be uh, in these names. And, and again, it just feels like they just don't stop. You have Amazon just continues on this really incredible run. You have Netflix. It's, it feels like, you know, like every single day they're going higher because, well, they're going higher every single day. Just continuation of a magnificent run. Uh, today, and we'll get to the individual pivots in a second. You had Apple woke up. You had Tesla that we were watching in nausea for like a week. This is definitely the trade of the day, at least for me. Uh, really phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal move. Uh, even names like PayPal that had strong consolidation waking up. Uh, names, for example, even like an AMC, right? Throw your diamonds in the sky, right? Even a name like AMC, strong, very, very strong. So again, despite the disconnect in the, in the indexes, the, with the Dow and S&P going lower, the NASDAQ 100 continues to chew along and the speculation money continues to be poured in. And again, names like AMC, uh, names like Clove that had a really, really big run today, right? And it's, again, it's very, very tough to judge a market when there is no fear. So if you've been on the bearish case in this market for the last four and a half years, well, I give, you know, I, I send my, my prayers and my condolences to you. It's very, very hard to be a bear in this market considering uh, how aggressive the, you know, the, the, the Fed continues to be. And, and again, there is no fear. Does it make a difference how high, high the market is? Does it make a difference if you think for a second something is incredibly overbought? The market continues to find its way. And if you trade specific groups, and again, um, I trade uh, the high beta mega cap technology group. This is the sweet spot. And you know, I'm avoiding the Netflix of the world. I'm avoiding the Amazons, even though they're going higher. But when you turn around and you start looking at other names that are continuously coming out of channels. Look at mRNA, right? We talked about uh, mRNA all of last week. We talked about it over the weekend update. And we said, hey, if today's prices could confirm, right? If today's, today's prices would confirm. We just had this video, what, two, yesterday, right? You could see higher prices. And, you know, the video, uh, mRNA absolutely exploded again. So the speculation money is still there. It's now being allocated not only to the high really high aggressive speculation capitals like the AMCs or the close of the world, they're not only being distributed to uh, the technology names, but they're spread out now into biotech, right? Into biotechs of the world. The one group that got really beat up today, and again, I don't follow the group very, very closely, but I know a lot of you guys uh, do pay attention is these cryptocurrencies, right? And this is where you turn around and when somebody makes an argument that this is the next, this is the logical next wave of government being run with cryptocurrencies, 
uh, with people using cryptocurrencies at a day-to-day -day basis to kind of, you know, in everyday life. And you, when you look at Bitcoin today at one point down like 10, 12% and uh, Ethereum and all these other cryptocurrencies are down 20, 30, 35%, it really does show you how fragile that market is. And again, I, I, I have no, no, no dog in this fight. But again, when somebody turns around and says and tries to make a case that this will be the absolute 100% no doubt about it way of kind of using finances in the future is, in the future all you have to show is exhibit a when one small uh, ripple comes down you know you have 20 30 percent moves all across the board it's it's very very tough to convince um uh, an economist or somebody that is controlling large amounts of wealth and large amount of assets that this is going to be the way to go. Maybe you have an allocation, maybe some speculation capital in these groups. And again, I think there's definitely a place for the Bitcoins, the Ethereums and everything else in the world. But again, to put everything all in diamond hands, right? Everything all up, you know, every bit of capital you have, at least at this juncture, based on what we saw today and how easy it is for like the world to end for 15, 20 minutes, even, even uh, uh, Coinbase, how to kind of shut they they almost literally shut down you know for about a half an hour an hour or so and basically just said hey there's no more transactions so we kind of figure out what the hell is going on you need all that fixed the infrastructure for any type of you know for any type of entity has to be able to kind of withstand kind of blows right and so if you have if you have taps to the chin and all of a sudden they hit you really really hard it's very important that a coinbase or uh, anything that is um, using these cryptocurrencies as a vehicle to kind of navigate, be stable and stability is the most important thing. So again, there is definitely, definitely a place for the Bitcoins of the world and the Ethereums of the world and dog shits of the world, right? Anything that you want to speculate. But again, to be all in on something that's this fragile, you have to be very, very uh, careful. So going into tomorrow's session, again, I like technology, right? I, I, I don't know uh, about the rest of the market, right? I don't know what the financials are going to do, okay? I don't know, uh, you know, the financials, you know, had a good run, still having a good run. I don't know about the consumer cyclicals. I don't know about the biotechs. But I do know technology is still strong. Will I be looking at Netflix tomorrow? No. Will I be looking at uh, Amazon tomorrow? Absolutely not. But there's still a lot of really good value. Again, Tesla broke out today. Okay. Uh, well, I can't say broke out. It broke out right here and then it confirmed here. And this is just a continuation basis. But now Tesla has a clear channel. The one thing that I have noticed on Tesla for the last two times that it broke out really, really aggressively it's kind of rested the rest of the week. So I, I, I am optimistic tomorrow and the, and the big value for Tesla tomorrow will be kind of a dip into rising 60 minute support. But based on what we've seen the last couple of times that Tesla broke out, man, it, it really does need sometimes like a week to kind of get going again. So I am, uh, I am definitely interested in Tesla tomorrow, okay? Um, but I would love to see a dip into rising 60 minute support, kind of trapping shorts and letting it go red to green, maybe uh, testing face high. Listen, if we get a day two run on this thing, would be absolutely fantastic. I'm not day drinking, right? I promise you, I'm not intoxicated. AMC looks great. And again, I, I get the whole, you know, ape nation that tell me, well, where the hell have you been for the last four months? Hey, AMC has been going, not, yeah, not in my world, right? I don't watch AMC, but when you look at a channel like this and you look at a stock that hasn't gone down, say what you want about maybe the fundamentals of the company maybe not being, uh, you know, the next Microsoft. But boy, oh boy, look at this channel here. If AMC confirms and this is a pretty good channel, you know, this is a pretty good dynamic market for speculation money. Maybe this thing goes on another run. This thing looks uh, pretty good as well. Let me give you guys a couple other names that I'm, I'm definitely watching for tomorrow. Uh, look at PayPal, right? Look at PayPal. They came in for the $300 calls. If you guys remember uh, last week, I think they had a PR that you're going to be able to trade either cryptocurrencies or stock something eventually through PayPal. Uh, you saw some $300 weekly calls come in. Nice looking channel on PayPal. Uh, look at a name like Airbnb, right? Airbnb is coming out of this really, really tight channel here. So there's still a lot of value, guys. There's definitely still a lot of value. Look at a name like Facebook, right? First close today over the five-day moving average. Again, if you've been watching this broadcast just in the last X amount of months, you know how important it is for names to reclaim their five-day. The five-day is the shortest-term sentiment, and if stocks start reclaiming their five-day, hey, who knows? If Facebook confirms tomorrow, maybe you could see all-time highs uh, in the name as well. Uh, names like NVIDIA, I'm still watching. Maybe it still needs one more day of rest. Uh, maybe a name, uh, maybe a name like 
you know, there's, there's a bunch of names that I'm, I'm, I'm kind of watching, but, but overall, if you do put in your homework, uh, mRNA on any dips, any dips at all on mRNA, they were coming with some pretty decent size today uh, for the 750 calls. But any name, if you do your research tonight and you will go through... Uh, you go through a whole bunch of charts. You will find, I, I give you my word, if you put in the work tonight, I give you my word, you're going to find a lot, of, a lot of value for tomorrow. Maybe not the names that you are uh, watching on a day-to-day -day basis, but the ones that look strong are sticking out uh, like sore thumbs. And again, for tomorrow, guys, keep an eye on the AMCs of the world, the Airbnbs of the world, the PayPals of the world, obviously any dips on mRNA. Uh, and Tesla, but there's a lot of really good value uh, for names that are still getting really good option flow, uh, and those are the names you definitely want to concentrate for, you know, and leave the, again, uh, I say this every night, but leave the extended names alone. Those are the ones that, again, you don't want any, you know, any pull in the market, because if the market pulls, uh, those are going to be the ones who are going to get pulled first. So let's talk about uh, some pivots today. Again, really, really Really big moves, man. That's the best way of saying it. Again, you don't need a lot of these things, but the ones that confirm, when they're confirming macro, boy, oh, boy, they're going really gangbusters. Uh, mRNA 417 needs to build. Uh, potential swing, any close over 417. Could get a move to 458. I still think the stock sees the 450s. Uh, here's uh, mRNA. So if you guys remember over the weekend, we talked about the 405. The 415, it confirmed 417 today, went right into the supply zone today, almost 440. If this thing gets above this Bollinger Band, I mean, look how much room you still have. So huge, absolutely huge move on that. Uh, Tesla, again, what's not to love? Uh, Tesla 742 needs to build. Again, potential swing close over 742, obviously, the, you know, the previous day's low. Measure potential is 780s. Monster move in Tesla, just an absolute rock star. Definitely my favorite stock. Took out 742. I thought there's a shot I could get to 762. Got to 760. Excuse me. But again, if, if Tesla confirms, look how much room you still have into the 780, 790. So just an absolute monster moving. Just again, in my opinion, again, just my humble opinion. I've been doing this for 22 years. I've never in my life seen a stock even come close uh, to trading Tesla both long and short. Doesn't make a difference which direction. When this thing gets going, it's an absolute rock star. So congratulations for all you guys who have that. Uh, Apple, again, uh, Apple 155 needs to build. Again, potential swing, hard stop below uh, 152. 155 needs to build. Beautiful move on Apple, continues to go higher. Uh, took out the 55, went to 57 and change. I still think the stock sees uh, 159, 160. They were coming for the 160, the 165 calls. Really, really strong move on, on Apple. And it really does show you the testament how strong technology names continue to be. Uh, KBNE uh, 28 needs to build. It went to like 28.55 and it just kind of died on a vine, didn't do anything. Uh, Docu rejected 315 several times, never got close to 315. Actually, ugly, ugly reversal today uh, in Docu shares. NVIDIA never came close to there. Uh, NTLA 180 needs to build. It traded above 180, never confirmed, and pretty aggressive sell off on that as well. Uh, crowd 281 needs to build, never got close to 281. Uh, Tesla, yeah, basically. Oh, yes. You know, we had um, you know, the first move before the downtick on Tesla was like 11 points. It was just an absolute rocket this morning. I mean, congratulations for all you guys uh, who took it. This was definitely my trade of the day. Uh, if you're still holding the run, a great job there uh, as well. mRNA take on the way up, just an absolute super move. Uh, 742 again in Tesla, 762 on deck, went to 760. And again, folks, and I, and I say this all the time, you don't need to trade high beta technology names to trade pivots. It, it, as long as you have a range, right, and you have uh, option flow on that range, which never hurts, and you have a lot of volume, you know, that, that's the formula. So you could trade a $9 stock, a $970 stock, or a $9,000 stock. And again, the process is still the same. So Clovis, uh, 970 supply needs to build. They're coming again, one after another. They came for the $10 weeklies. They came for the 1050 weeklies. They came for the 11s. They came for the 13s. They came for the $15 calls. Uh, really strong move on Clovis today. Uh, C L O V. So right, it took out this whole 970 range. Uh, it went to uh, 1113s, trading over $11. Uh, after hours looks really, really good for a potential move. Maybe gets a rest day tomorrow, but again, overall, uh, very, very strong. Apple with nuts. Uh, Clovis, again, and I said this, take on the way up. This isn't Tesla. This is just the reality. It's not Tesla. Um, you know, these things stop at any given point. 
the starting and guys we should definitely keep an eye on the video that they, they were coming for the 330 332 weeklies i want to watch this thing for the next couple of days here comes Apple, mRNA, 427 pushing. Uh, PayPal looks great, 293 needs to build. Uh, IBD put it on their uh, swing idea, um, I guess generation idea. Uh, $300 week call, it calls it confirmed right on the close. So we've got to keep an eye on PayPal tomorrow uh, for continuation. Let's see what else. Uh, mRNA, yeah, I mean, guys, they were coming with the 450 weekly call buyer. Uh, came in with some pretty decent size with that as well. So I still like it for tomorrow. Uh, 1020s could be a gap or a close as well. It's gapping up right now as we speak. And that is, right, $15 call buyer on Clovis. So that's it. So great value today. Again, is every single day going to be this expansion in channels? Absolutely not. We know the difference between uh, value and lack of value. Obviously, we got a good amount of value today. There's a lot of good value for tomorrow. But again, the question is, are these value plays going to confirm to be determined? Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Hope everybody had a great long three-day rest. And with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, guys. Have a great night.